Welcome to the madness where we're asking the question, what if every time zone was its own country? We're in Hearts of Iron 4 today, and this is going to be quite interesting. As you can see here on the map, it is some awful border gore. I try to make it um, as accurate to the time zone as possible, but it's hard because uh, Hoi 4 map is a little weird. You can only do it based on what is like a state already. So if it wasn't a state, it, it's a little messed up borders, but it's going to be quite interesting. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. Right off the bat in North America, I have to say, who looks really good is Guatemala and Venezuela. They definitely have the more powerful states in uh, the United States. Canada is all right, they have California, but more in World War II, these were really the more powerful. I think Brazil can actually do something, but if we go over into uh, Europe, Asia, and Africa, it's Germany and Poland and China. The three amigos! Those are pretty much gonna be the only nations that are gonna matter. Um, Germany got a ton of power, Poland got a ton of power, um, United Kingdom got a ton of power. And just to let you all know, um, all of these countries, every single uh, core, if you know what cores are, um, they have all of them in their territory. So that pretty much means that they get manpower and resources from every piece of territory in their borders. If I had to predict who would win off the start, I would have to say it's going to be Germany. Axis power Germany. Germany is going to win no problem. They will murder Poland and they will not murder United Kingdom. I also try to make all the divisions and factory even which is quite hard in Hoi 4, but we will see if the world gets conquered by Germany or we'll have someone else. And we are going until one nation controls the world. So this will be quite interesting. This is also the Battle Royale mod like Fortnite, like Fortnite. as well. So that means every nation will be at war with another nation in two years. We're gonna give all these nations two years to build up. There may be a war uh, before that happens. So pretty much two years for them to build up and then all hell will break, break loose. It's whoever is the last one to survive will be the best time zone. I did meme about Iceland. There's also New Zealand, but in reality, all these nations do have a pretty fair shot in this. I give everyone like the same amount of factories and everyone has a ton of manpower. So it is actually possible for any of these nations to win. Uh, they do have two years to build up too. So really we could see an Iceland or New Zealand win. It's not very likely, but possible, maybe. I wanted to make sure America had a uh, good opportunity to shine. So the United States of America is just Alaska and Hawaii. Yeah, they're not going to win. And I wanted to make sure that they didn't win. I'm literally American and I don't know why I am putting so much hate on them. But yeah, something I was not planning for, but I'm going to allow is Germany is having a civil war. It is the German Reich versus the German Empire, and it's pretty split down the middle. Um, I'm guessing that they Hitler went away or something like that. Um, so I don't really know what's going to happen here. I think uh, it's, it's going to be quite interesting. I Yeah, I, I'm kind of speechless. I didn't expect Germany to go into a civil war, so I, I really don't know what this is going to do. Um, I think the German Empire will win, but I could be wrong. Yeah, the German Empire is gonna die. I was super incorrect. You stupid. They're not. I thought the German Empire was gonna do fine. No, the German Reich is gonna be here and they're gonna stay. Um, they're getting absolutely decimated. They have like 13 troops left when the German Reich has like 50. So the German Reich will be in this game, unfortunately. But I think Germany won't win now because it's gonna weaken them way too much. And I think Poland, the UK, is just gonna insta kill them. It's official, the German Reich has prevailed, but that means we have this gross green Germany now, and I don't know how I feel about it. Unfortunately, that is what we have now, which actually is gross, but also green's my favorite color, so I'm not too mad, but eh, it's not, it's kind of disgusting. The battle royale has begun. Um, so Denmark uh, after someone, uh, Pakistan after someone, I don't know. Yeah, there's just a lot of wars going on. And so Japan is going after New Zealand, which they should crush them. And uh, what's it called? China is going after uh, Australia, which is quite interesting. Um, my big question is, what's going on with Germany? Germany, who are you going to war with? Ooh, the UK versus Germany. 
Okay, that's a big, big starting war, and Poland is going after Pakistan. Ooh, Pakistan is, oh, Pakistan isn't gonna win this game. They are currently getting gangbanged by uh, Poland, uh, the Soviet Union, and uh, Siam. Over in North America, we have Venezuela after Guatemala, which I think are the two most powerful nations here. Um, Brazil is also going after Guatemala, so Guatemala is probably going to lose this just because they have two people against them. I like those odds. Um, Mexico is after Canada, and Canada is also at war with the United States. It somehow has gotten worse for Pakistan. Uh, now India is also at war with them, so Pakistan is at war with four different nations. They're gone. Um, I think, what's it called, the Soviets or India is gonna get the most power because they're gonna take actual uh, land of Pakistan. So they're gonna probably divide this. And I don't know really who's gonna get this uh, territory up here. But it's gonna be interesting uh, out of all these nations who will go to war with each other after this. Pakistan is our first official time zone to die. Uh, it looks like the Soviets got the most land out of that, but uh, it looks like uh, Poland and India split the rest. It looks like Siam didn't get absolutely anything. So it looks like, it looks like the Soviet Union is going to go after India, and then Poland is going to go after the UK. So it looks like the UK isn't going to have a good time because these are probably the two most powerful nations and they're both after the UK where the India and uh, Soviet war could be uh, quite equal. This is going to be a more interesting one while uh, UK has probably just got a death sentence now. It somehow got even worse for the UK. They, 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 they got Iceland to declare war on them. Iceland is now at war with the UK. Iceland thinks they are not powerful enough to take on the UK because that's how the Battle Royale mod works It's if they think they're more powerful, they'll declare war. So now Iceland's going after the UK, which is insane. Also, I was completely wrong over here. It's not the first time. The Venezuela and Brazil is getting absolutely rocked by Guatemala, at least up here in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's a little bit more equal, but like, I don't think it's gonna matter. Once they get all this power up here, they could easily come down here and wipe out South America. So this might uh, be a dire uh, message for Venezuela. They might get their butt kicked. So Siam is going on a tear. They have declared two wars at once. They're going after Australia and New Zealand, and both of these nations are losing their wars. So I think uh, Siam is trying to take advantage of the weaker nations, because Japan is about to actually take out New Zealand. They're grabbing the islands, and they're coming. Uh, New Zealand's not going to survive much long. Your Japan got pretty mad. They want to kill New Zealand. So what they did is they declared war on Siam themselves. So now Siam is also at war with Japan. So Siam is at war with three people. That's going to be a problem. Um, however, I don't know if Japan will invade too much, but Japan was definitely going to get all this land because I'm pretty sure Siam has no troops up here. Probably one of the biggest wars has come to a conclusion. Guatemala took out Venezuela. This is shocking to me. Well, you're stupid. I thought that since Guatemala was at war with Brazil and Venezuela, they would get crushed. But I think Guatemala is now going to conquer the Americas because if they take out Brazil, Mexico and Canada aren't going to stand a chance. So I think Guatemala may have North America. And if they get North America, I think they might win the game um, if they do it fast enough because the world is not really united besides that. So. If they pick up the speed, they could definitely win this game. Maybe the most important war just happened. Germany is going after Poland. We both know how this ends. And Poland is super powerful. So is Germany. I think they both have over 200 troops each. Germany has 300. Poland has 300 too, so they both have 300 troops. So this is going to be a pretty even war. At first, it might be one-sided because all the troops have to get here, but this could really determine who wins Europe here and Africa. Oh, and the Soviet Union are really starting it. They are going to war with China because they killed Siam, and they got more land on Siam than Japan did. So I think this is going to be the death of China. Actually, this could be a fairly simple war. China could actually maybe do well because China really hasn't had anyone to fight. They've only been fighting Australia. So the Soviet Union versus China could be quite interesting. Poland and the UK are about to die at the same time from Germany. We had a, we had a good run. 
They, they both are gonna die from Germany. So Germany still might win this game, but Poland, oh Poland. They have lost 12 million people to Germany's 5 million. Yeah, that's a very bad ratio. They've almost lost double the men. Um, so Germany is about to take both these guys out, and then I'm guessing Germany is going to go after Iceland or the Soviet Union. The Soviets and Japan have split uh, China down the middle quite evenly. Now they're at war with each other. Um, I think the Soviets have a huge advantage here. Um, my only big concern is that Germany is going to get done with their World war and then backstab the Soviets. That doesn't seem historically accurate whatsoever. The Soviets are lucky as hell because Germany has decided to go after Iceland instead of them. Also, North America, you suck so much. You suck. Guatemala has decided that they're not going to do anything and they're just messing around with Brazil. They probably have 300 less troops over here in Brazil and Guatemala refuses to kill them. Probably because of the infrastructure. But then Canada and Mexico, they're in a war still. I don't understand how you guys are still going on. One of you should have won by now. Come on, pick it together, Canada and Mexico. Well, it looks like we might have a German victory. Oh, Unfortunately, uh, the Soviets are going to die. Uh, there is no way they're going to survive a sandwich from Japan and Germany. And I have a feeling Germany will then go after Japan and then it's game over. So I think Germany is going to win. The peace deal is in Japan. It did slightly get more territory but I don't think it matters. I think Germany is unstoppable at this point. This is pretty much the last war that matters. Once Germany wins this, I think they can easily dominate the world. Uh, Guatemala, unfortunately, just didn't get anything going in time. So this is gonna be the death of the world. Germany will probably take over everything. We have the final two nations going to war with each other. And do I even have to tell you who's going to win? It's going to be Germany, and it's going to be controlled all by Germany. And Germany has won. They have gotten everything. And what does that mean that Germany has won? Well, that means that the Central European Summertime Time Zone is the best time zone in the world. Maybe we could redo this and have it in a modern day with modern countries, but I think Germany just got really lucky with a lot of the wars that they got into. There could have been plenty of times where they could have been taken out by someone else. I think uh, Guatemala kind of really wasted their time. If they really wanted to, they could have ruled the world. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and suggest new videos down in the comments below. Thank you. See you later. Bye.